Welcome back to my channel, my friends. Today, I'm gonna to help you start your handstand journey. We're gonna talk about how to kick up into your very first handstand. I'm gonna show you everything you need to get there. Let's do it. Starting your handstand journey can be really scary. And I think where a lot of people go wrong is that they just assume that everyone can kick up to the wall. That sometimes is the scariest bit, especially if you have never been upside down before or you haven't been upside down since you were a kid. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through every single thing you're gonna to need to feel comfortable and safe kicking up into a handstand so that you can fly with them. First things first, I want us to actually get comfortable with the idea of being upside down. So the first thing that we're gonna actually start and try and practice is being in a headstand. This allows us to be a little bit closer to the floor. It's a little bit less scary, but it still gives us that feeling and that sensation of being upside down. There are two different ways to do a headstand. You can either cradle your head with your hands or you can pop your hands and your head on the floor. I will show you both and then it's completely up to you which one you pick. It doesn't really make a difference. It's totally personal preference. So if you're gonna cradle your head, you're gonna put one hand on top of the other and then you're gonna pop your head into it. The key here with headstands is that the top of your head needs to be on the floor. Naturally, you will wanna put your forehead on the floor, but I want you to put the very top of your head as if someone's put a pin in there, you're gonna slot it onto the floor. So if you are doing it with your head in your hands, you're coming here, nice and strong. If you're doing it with your hands on the floor, you're gonna put your hands shoulder width apart and your head is going to go in front of it to make a triangle. In here, just like that. Again, the top of your head is on the floor, not your forehead. From here, all we're gonna do is send our feet onto the ground, our bum up into the sky, and you're gonna very, very gently See if you can lean that weight forwards, okay? So right now we're not actually kicking up. We're just leaning forwards, getting used to having the weight on our head. Nice and simple. For each of these steps, I want you to go away, practice them, pause this video if you need to, come back to it when you're ready for the next step. From here, what we're gonna do is lean forwards and kick up. Now we've got the wall behind us, so we are nice and supported but that's all I want you to do is kick up into a nice tuck. And from there, if you feel comfortable, just extending your legs. So eventually we want to have our heels on the wall and nothing else. To start with, if you feel like you need to have your bum on the wall, that's absolutely fine. But this is the position we're going for in the end. So doing that again, coming in here, kicking up into a tuck to extend up and eventually away from the wall. If you've done a headstand before, this may feel really easy for you. You may be comfortable upside down already. If you haven't, this is a beautiful place to start before we get into the handstand. Go away and try this, get comfortable upside down. Eventually you can move away from the wall. You can try the different types of headstands. The world is your oyster. Okay, now we're ready to move on to learning the actual handstand. All you need is yourself and the wall. We're gonna start with hand positioning and how far you should be from the wall. This is the number one question I get asked and the number one thing that people are doing wrong when they're learning a handstand. They're they're either too close or they're too far away from the wall. When you come to put your hands down on the floor, you're gonna to want to have them relatively close to the floor. Now, this is where I see a lot of people mess up. They go too far away. If your hands are too far away, it's gonna make it very, very difficult for you to hold a nice straight line. If your hands are too close to the wall, you're not actually gonna be able to get up. So you will figure it out. But as a rule of thumb, you want to be able to roughly fit a knuckle, a hand, just in between the tips of your fingers and the wall. From here, I'm gonna show you how to actually get your legs up against the wall, because although it looks simple, I completely understand it can be a little bit scary and sometimes you get in your head about it. A lot of people get scared that as soon as they're upside down, they can't hold themselves up. If you are unable to hold yourself up, you won't get up to start with, but if you can get up and to the wall, you can come back down again safely. What I want you to know is that there is no way that you are going to crumble and fall on your head unless you physically tell Tell your body to let go of the wall. So all we're going to do from here, placing our hands in the correct position, is we're going to pick the leg that we want to kick up with. Now naturally you will have one leg that you are stronger in. You may play football, that will be the one that you kick with. If you surf, it will be the one that's at the back. You will know which one your strongest leg is. If you don't, you'll find out pretty soon. For me, my right leg is the one that kicks up all the time. Now, when we start to kick up to the handstand, I actually don't want you to try and get up to the wall straight away. We're gonna use a drill called the LVI, and that means that we are trying to kick up into different shapes before we get to the wall. Let me show you. The first shape that I want you to kick up into is an L. So I am actively not trying to get that other leg up to the wall, but I'm just getting comfortable with kicking up. We don't need to rush this process and I don't need you to be in a full handstand against the wall in your first session or in your first try. The key thing here is getting comfortable upside down and being safe and comfortable in your strength. 
So what I want you to do here is practice that L shape. You're gonna go for five reps and come back down and rest three times before we move on. Something to note is that I want you to try and be cat-like. That means that when you go up and down, you're not landing on the floor with a slam. You're coming down nice and slowly, nice and controlled. Key to handstands is making them look beautiful and having that control and trust in your body. So again, when we go for those L drills, we're coming up, that's one, up, that's two. See how I'm landing? So softly. My toes are pointed. My legs are straight. Once you've done those L drills and you're comfortable with kicking up to the wall to start with, we're going to try and do a V with those legs. So when we first did it, the legs were like this. Now we're trying to get the legs into more of a V. So that second leg is starting to come up a little bit further. Again, we're not trying to get both legs to the wall yet. We're just getting comfortable upside down. We're getting comfortable in our kick up. So what that looks like, hands a knuckle's length away from the wall. We're kicking up there. So that first leg is going to the wall, that second leg is in the V. There, and a V. And you see how softly, how controlled I'm doing it? There. Don't panic if on your first try, your kickups are not as soft and controlled. What is likely to happen is you are gonna slam that wall that's okay. That's something that we can manage over time. It's something that you can work on being cat-like, but I just want to plant the seed so that you're at least thinking about it. So again, five reps up into this V and down. Up into the V and down. Once you've done your five reps, three sets, you're ready to move on. So now that you've smashed your L and your V, we're gonna go into the I shape. This is the last shape of the trio. And this is where we are essentially going to hold our handstand against the wall. Handstands are a mental game and often we psych ourselves out before we can even get into the handstand. So we're not thinking about this shape as a full handstand. We're thinking about creating the I with the legs. So using everything that we've just learned, hands on the floor about a knuckle away, we're gonna kick up nice and strong into an I and down. Now to start with, that second leg isn't coming to join on the wall. It's just hovering just off. So kicking up and down, up and down. And you can see in this shape now, I'm creating an I. Same as before, we're gonna go for five reps of three sets of this exercise, just really getting comfortable in each different shape. The reason that we're doing these shape drills is that learning how to control and how to know exactly what your body is doing upside down is going to help your handstand progress skyrocket. Anyone can throw themselves upside down against a wall, but to make it look pretty and to be able to have that trust and control in your body is a skill. I'm gonna show you the three shapes one more time just to recap. You have your L shape, you have your V shape and you have your I. And now that you've held your I shape against the wall, that is literally all a handstand is. So all I want you to do now is kick up into your I and see if you can just hold that against the wall for 10 seconds. Nice and easy, kicking up, holding against the wall, pushing nice and tall through the shoulders, pointing those toes, squeezing the quads. Five, four, three, two, one. And then when you're ready to come back down, coming super soft, landing like a cat. And there you have it. That is exactly how you're gonna kick up into your first handstand against the wall, trusting your body, feeling super comfortable with it and safe in the fact that you are in control. Everything about handstands is all about control. So you have to trust in your body that it knows what it's doing and that you know each of the steps along the way. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already joined the family. And if you wanna learn how to absolutely smash your handstands, I have a handstand guide that's gonna take you from zero to the perfect handstand. I will leave the link in the bio below. Make sure you check it out and let me know what you want to learn next. But until then, I will see you in the next video.